the fuck? All aboard. Well, you coming? Where? Why to Night City? Well, of course. This is the Cyberpunk 2077 Express. If I were you, I would think about climbing on board. Yes guys, the Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay reveal trailer is here! And um, it's not really a gameplay reveal trailer, it's not really a trailer actually, it's 48 minutes long. <laughs> Which is, it's a bit long for a trailer, but um, now nah, the game is just, oh, it's looking like a spicy meatball, I'm not gonna lie, it's looking really good. Before this, there was just some cinematics and I was like, you can't really go off cinematics can you? It's not the end product. And this. They mention quite a lot in this, that this isn't the end product. When I say quite a lot, I mean quite a lot. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. Keep in mind that what you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the released game. Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see, including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. But, I've still got high hopes for it, because it's made by the same people that made The Witcher, and The Witcher was, it was probably one of the best games of all time, not to over-exaggerate or anything, but it's a, it's a pretty good game. Well, when you step aboard the hype train of any game, there's always that risk that, um, it's not gonna go too well. Good old No Man's Sky. But anyway, in the game, like, it just looks so good. You can turn into a freaking spider. You can, like, get all these upgrades, all these, like, customize your character, get all these things. And you know one of the best things about it? The guy in the trailer is like, there's gonna be no loading screens. We are working hard to make Night City a fully realized, seamless open world with no loading screens. If they can pull that off, mm, it's gonna be a pretty good game. Even with loading screens, it's going to be good, but if they can pull off the no loading screen thing, then I'm going to be impressed. But also, pretty much, in my opinion, the coolest thing about it was how many different ways you could go about completing a mission. Because pretty much, the guy gave you the mission, cool Mr. T looking guy, then you could go over to some, like, government special force lady or whatever she was, go talk to her, um, and you'll be like, hey, yeah, let's meet up over here, and she was like, yeah, cool, let's meet up here, and then... You'd go and meet her, you'd scope out the area first, then you'd drop down and meet her, and then um, then it turns out everyone's really high level and you're like, oh shit, we're gonna die. And then they start pointing guns at you and you're like, whoa, 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 chill. And then you know that you can't actually fight them because they're too high level, so you got to talk your way out of it. And then the lady gives you some money to go buy the thing that you meant to get. You go to the place, they let you in, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna buy the thing. They're like, whoa, 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 you better sit down. And the guy's like, what do you mean sit down? And they start getting angry at each other. And then you're like, yo, just sit down. And he's like, all right, I'll sit down. And then the big boss guy gets angry. He's like, what are you doing? And then you're like, I'm going to pay with the money. And then you pay with the money. But the lady that gave you the money on the drive, the drive has some bug in it that infects their system and shuts down everything. And then they, everyone starts shooting and it all goes mad. And then um, the guy that does the gameplay um, trailer, he says, can you imagine if we didn't do it this way? And it, he was just saying how you didn't have to do it that way. You could go, um, you could just go in guns blazing. You didn't even need to talk to the lady to get the money, or you could have just bought the um, thing yourself with your own money. It's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, pretty excited. Um, all I'm gonna say is just please don't suck. Please, like on a level, there's no need to suck. I'm trying not to get overhyped. Maybe you should get overhyped. If you haven't seen the gameplay reveal trailer yet, it's 48 minutes, but it was like watching a film. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't my normal type of video. If you're new here, I normally play video games, but now I'm talking about it because I'm so excited about it. And also, there was a really cool like car chase scene. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at the end of this, but I'll just leave that bit in. you got to go watch the rest of yourself. I'm not going to leave 48 minutes worth of... Do you know how long that would take to render? Are you mad? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the gameplay, and I will see you guys in the next video. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, it looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, Hyda. Watch it now. Got it. All right. I think we got rid of it. That was intense. Ah, 
Shit! The fuck was that? Devils. Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here.